Hi friends, good evening. Dr. Harsha here from Vice Academy. So we are in the last 10 days of uh, our preparation for the NEET SS 2023. There were some last minute changes from the NBE regarding the uh, date going to the G20 summit. It was a shocker to all the aspirants and also to us. And uh, obviously by this time, uh, things have settled down and yes, uh, all of us are back in the preparation and back in the game. So I just want to give some few tips on how to go about in the last 10 days uh, in the exam, how to revise and uh, how to face the exam. So I'll be sharing a small uh, presentation and uh, we'll see and take the best out of it and um, wish you all the best again for the exam. So last 10 days, so what to be done? We think that 10 days is too small a time to do anything. But uh, 10 days, you can do wonders. You can upscale your preparation. You can uh, achieve a lot more because the last 10 days, time runs very fast. So time management is everything, as we pretty well know. We are having a limited time here and vast syllabus to be covered and revised. So you should have a focused and a smart way of utilizing your time. So we know the concept of black hole. Black hole, everything gets sucked in. Uh, but due to its enormous gravity, time slows down there. But not for us. For us in the, the coming 10 days, fly within a blink of an eye. So this is a uh, hourglass. The blue thing represents the past and the green is the future. The narrowed part is the present. So you cannot control the past. You cannot control your future. Only thing that you can control is your present. So how can you make the best of your present? That is the 10 days that you're having now. You have to squeeze the maximum to have a very bright future. So what are we dealing with now? So there are multiple issues pertaining to subject and pertaining to our non-subject um, issues. By this time, a lot of us are in mental exhaustion, physical stress. There will be, we need to balance our family, career, work, job. And uh, there are some traumatizing uh, uh, days owing to the delay in the exam. And in front of us, we have a lot of uh, content to, to cover, like uh, Bailey, Savishchan, Schwartz, and we have various MCQ banks. Uh, many of you have attempted uh, uh, many mock exams. And obviously, WhatsApp University, lots of discussion going on, lots of stuff be, will be exchanged between uh, aspirants on WhatsApp. And we have our own... Uh, time frame and our, our own uh, revision program. So this is what we have to balance and uh, make the best in the coming 10 days. So some common do's and don'ts that we need to do in the uh, coming 10 days. First of all, put your phone aside. Don't waste your time on unnecessary WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, all these things. Because you are investing time here, it doesn't invest. If you are investing 10 minutes of time in uh, Instagram, our thoughts again are lost trying to recollect what you have seen on Instagram. So it is it is not only 10 minutes, it's a lot of uh, uh, excess time that is being wasted on uh, using this uh, social media uh, platforms. So stay away from them. Unless otherwise, WhatsApp obviously is a very important communication tool. So restrict your WhatsApp usage and uh, maybe you can switch off your internet. Open it only when you are having some free time or when you are taking a break or when you are going for lunch or in those times, you try to use the WhatsApp. Bucket time, better is to avoid. <clears throat> and food is very, very important. Try not to experiment uh, eating something outside, some spicy stuff, spicy biryani, so don't venture into eating some outside food because 
now you are getting some gastroenteritis or nausea vomiting and this kind of things or typhoid you will be losing three or four of precious days which will be very crucial it is like the final overs in a cricket match where each ball is precious so don't experiment eat something which is very halka ghar ka khana ma ka khana bas that is most important and uh, try to get good sleep because when you are having a good sleep whatever you are going to read whatever is there will be properly consolidated in your brain and a free brain can have good thoughts and you can perform well in the exam so don't restrict your sleep hours always have adequate sleep in the coming 10 days at least 7 hours in a day so i would suggest at a stretch 7 hours is the best thing to have so otherwise 7 plus 1 8 hours also i would suggest it is a uh, good thing to have adequate sleep because your brain is the one which is which needs to be more focused in the coming 10 days so it needs adequate rest also so give it adequate rest by taking proper sleep that is very 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 important so spending sleepless nights is not going to help at all and the concept of 2 to 6 pm if someone is in the habit of uh, sleeping in the afternoon please 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 give a break from that habit right away because uh, your exam is somewhere around the same time so better to try to be awake uh, uh, in that time frame so try to be awake in uh, that period of time drink some coffee tea and something and uh, try to be awake that will help you to be more active during the day of the exam so each one has got his or her own revision strategy uh, some revise from the textbook some revise from the question bank some revise from their own notes so whatever is working for you whatever has worked for you till date follow the same revising strategy don't try to copy uh, someone else's strategy because it is working for him because he, he or she has a adapted to their strategy so by this time you will be having your own strategy stick to it and follow it so having said that in the coming 10 days you should have a focused reading so find out which areas you are weak which areas you are strong which areas you are having some kind of confusion or topics which are confusing to you especially genes numerical based stuff or all these things and try to flip through bailey and sabiston pdf file and see the images images so that will help in having some page memory and also will help in answering uh, image based mcqs so why i suggested about weak and strong areas is if you are strong in a particular topic you can um have a slighter uh, revision time dedicated to it when compared to your weak areas because weak areas are those where you have mcq from that you will be afraid to answer that and also you may be having some confusion between options a and b or b and c so what happens is student tends to leave that question itself so if you are leaving mcqs the chance of scoring more is less so when you are scoring less obviously the chance of being in the top uh, echelon comes down so the more you are going to answer the more chance of you uh, getting into the uh, top ranks is more so this is a weightage we um, think they might give so this is completely irrelevant this is uh, what we have been trying to uh, give in our mock exams also so obviously 125 mcqs will come from sub specialties of surgery and some 25 mcqs from miscellaneous in general surgery part so roughly 10 to 15 mcqs from each of the uh, surgical sub specialty so every sub specialty is important lest you um, neglect it and uh, having said that onco gastro and uro are sub specialties where at least the student has some understanding of the 
type of surgery but uh, coming to plastic pediatric neurosurgery ct surgery vascular surgery these are some branches where do we do not have uh, practical exposure even in our ms general surgery days so because of that we need to mug up content from uh, bailey sabiston schwartz and uh, imagine things and we have to write answer so that is where we tend to lose marks and that is where uh the vice academy mock exams will definitely help you out because uh, we have focused and concentrated a lot on these weak areas and uh, i hope those who all have given the mock exams will uh, feel the difference when they have solved uh the mcqs so this what i am going to uh, suggest in a couple of slides is my strategy plan if i was a student what i am going to do so if it is of anyone's liking you can follow this plan or you stick to your plan so i am a person as i said i am uh, confident in answering certain top topics and i will be weak in certain areas so my strategy is to read the weak areas now itself and uh, keep the strong areas to the last couple of days because even if i do not have time and if I, even if i uh, brush it uh, fast i can uh, score well in my strong areas but the weak areas are those which i need to revise like ct surgery or plastic surgery those things i want to start uh, revising right away so what um, tools i have in my hand so everyone has got their own set of tools so write out what all stuff you are having i have my academic notes here my academic mock exams and mcq bank is there with me and i have my standard textbooks and i have my own notes and i have some borrowed content from other uh, sources so write out list out what all you want you are having and uh, let us say there is some topic which you have read from a particular source which you like so better to read it from um, that source itself instead of experimenting uh, uh, from a new place the most important thing that a surgeon should learn in his life career is when not to operate what not to do likewise in the last 10 days don't experiment don't try to uh, read new stuff that is a blunder thing to do because the time you are going to invest in conceptualizing or trying to mug up a new stuff you can dedicate that time in revising a whole topic itself so don't try to <clears throat> venture into new areas that is a golden advice that i am giving so what i will do is <clears throat> coming couple of days 20th and 21st of september i will try to finish plastic surgery and vascular surgery and uh, i will do it while combining part of gastro on both the days because gastro surgery is voluminous though i am confident in answering my gastro mcqs i just want to do couple of uh, readings on gastro so in a day let us say 3/4 of the day i will dedicate for plastic and 3/4 of the day i will dedicate for vascular and baki day i will give for gastro on 20th and 21st so for plastic surgery my personal choice will be i will be relying on vice academy mock exams because the whole mock exam series have covered exhaustively uh, mcqs from plastic surgery completely uh, covering all the concepts and uh, i would prefer to read and flip through the images of bss that is bailey sabiston and schwartz and a rapid revision of mcqs who oh, had the three chapters burns soft tissues and uh, uh, what is that plastic surgery per se so these three or four chapters i will rapidly revise from uh, the mcq bank and vascular surgery as i said again the seven or eight mock exams have, that have been released by vice academy have exhaustively covered content from vascular surgery i can confidently say if you have done plastic and vascular mcqs from the mock exams you can answer any mcq 
and flip through the uh, arteries and aorta chapters of uh, whatever standard book you have read because there are many concepts in arteries and aorta topics so just spend maybe one or two hours on flipping through the pages of bailey or sabiston or schwarz whatever book you have read uh, for, as a rapid revision and you can rely on veins and lymphatics uh, for mcq bank that is a comparatively easier topic when compared to the artery and aorta topics so 22nd and 23rd i will put my efforts on uh, pediatric surgery and neurosurgery and again I will give some time for gastro, same as I have dedicated on the days of plastic and uh, vascular. I will dedicate some time for <laughs> gastro revision. So for pediatric surgery, Sabiston, if you have read till now, yeah, it's a wonderful book. Uh, content is there for uh, pediatric surgery, and uh, Bailey also lots of lots of uh, content, especially. Uh, the cleft palate, cleft lip, which you have to cover in plastic as well also as in uh, pediatric uh, surgery. So that's a very important topic to cover. And uh, special focus in pediatric surgery should be on uh, pediatric tumors and pediatric urology. And I think for pediatric surgery, MCQ bank and uh, rapid revision should be fine. Coming to neurosurgery, um, onco part, like brain tumors, glioblastoma, astrocytoma, meningiomas, ependymomas, spinal cord tumors, all these things are very important topics. Just to them. And uh, trauma is an important concept EDH, SDH, axonal injury, uh, scoring systems, GCS, BSS, all these scoring systems are very important. So, trauma and onco neurosurgery should be uh, my focus will be on that. And in neurosurgery, the chances of putting some CT scans and radiological uh, uh, stuff is more. So I will try to flip through the pages of Barry Savishkin and Schwarz to see if there are any uh, good CT images from which they can ask an MCQ. <clears throat> and again, for gastro, if you have read Savishkin, yeah, try to flip through the pages or your notes of uh, gastro from Savishkin or do the MCQs. So 24, 25th, yeah, CT surgery. That is my, one of my dreadful areas right from my PG days and my preparation days, CT surgery, even today, CT surgery, uh, solving CT surgery MCQs is a very um, uphill task for me. So what I do is uh, I cannot comprehend the concepts in uh, CT surgery because I have not seen uh, much of CT surgery. So there is, what I do is I am now completely, I, as a student, I will completely rely on uh, uh, content provided by various platforms or I will be relying on the MCQs. So <clears throat> it's up to you. If you're confident, you can flip through the textbooks or else. My funda is, okay, I will invest time on other uh, things where I can, this is my weak area, uh, pretty weak area where I cannot, uh, now I cannot uh, upscale my preparation. So I will be relying on MCQs and MCQ bank and mock exams. That's it. So general surgery, yes, whatever book you have read, either Sabiston or Bailey, whatever it is, rapidly, rapidly, rapidly solve the MCQs and flip through the pages because sometimes uh, you may um, see a image where they can ask an uh, MCQ. But my preference is for general surgery, go to the MCQ bank, that should be more than, more than enough. And uh, mock exams from Vice Academy, they yeah, are covered exhaustively on um, pretty decent concepts that can be asked from general surgery. So that should be fine if you are uh, uh, planning to have a rapid revision on general surgery. So 26th and 27th, yeah, I will uh, dedicate uh, this time for uh, my remaining content of gastro and uh, covering the onco part. Of course, endocrine is also more or less like uh, onco covering breast, thyroid, and uh, adrenal, uh, these things. Obviously, these things are very, very important. And um, MCQ Bank from Vice Academy, they have done a very um, good compilation of uh, thyroid, breast, and adrenals. I think that should be more than enough to um, answer all the MCQs that may be given up in the NEET, upcoming NEET SS exam. 
So endocrine, that should be fine. And coming to Onco, if already you have made a table of uh, all the TNM stagings, or you have a PDF file of TNM stagings, I would suggest, yes, please go through all the TNM stagings because simply simple MCQs can be asked. Uh, there is a lump in the left breast of size so and so, and uh, her axillary node is a single node on the right side, and uh, there is a metastasis in the liver. So what is the uh, TNM staging? So based on that, uh, it is T3, T2, TN, uh, N1, M0. So these kind of MCQs can be asked, unless otherwise you have a strong grip on the uh, TNM staging, especially of the important cancers like breast thyroid, uh, GA malignancies and uh, genital urinary tract malignancies. Uh, it is difficult for us to answer the MCQs. And I am pretty sure maybe two or three MCQs can um, come from the TNM staging itself or something related to that. So try to recollect and uh, uh, have a uh, good grip on the TNM stages, especially of the major tumors. So <clears throat> In the last 10 days, how to deal with mock exams? Should I give any mock exams? The answer is a big no. Don't do any mock exams. So what should I do with the already given mock exams? So whenever you are having some time or whenever you're having some friend where you are having a comment study or when you're talking to uh, a group study or phone call or what you can do is you can discuss the MCQs from the mock exam or if you're not having any study partner, you can go back, open your mock exams and try to just see the question answer and the explanation. Question answer and explanation. Don't spend three hours, two hours on uh, seeing the mock exam. Each mock exam, well, you are having eight mock exams from Vice Academy. What you can do is you are having 10 days. Each day, pick up one mock exam and finish it. Maybe you can spend one, one and a half hour. See the question and see the answer immediately. See the question, see the answer, and explanation. So knowingly or unknowingly, by that time you finish your 10 days, you are again replenishing and revising 1,000 new concepts. I am telling you, revising the mock exams will definitely, definitely, definitely will make a sure shot impact because it is a, uh, uh, what to say, rapid recorder of uh, many important concepts. So my sincere advice will be to go through the mock exams and try to finish all the eight mock exams in the coming eight days. So the day before your exam, take the WHO timeout and uh, put up a checklist of uh, what you should be having for the D-Day. So obviously, your hall ticket, your identification card, your uh, transport uh, and your accommodation things, and some uh, your clothing. And make sure you are eating some healthy food on the day before the exam, because if something goes wrong, you're completely lost. So. Try to avoid eating anything outside. Even if you are going to a different place to give the exam, try to eat something uh, which is freshly cooked and which is uh, more of what to say, uh, steam based or those kind of things rather than uh, some oil based kind. For example, uh, I would prefer to eat uh, idli rather than puri because idli is uh, easily digestible and uh, it is a steam based. So the chance of uh, having some kind of uh, gastrointestinal upset is very less. So try to take these kind of stuff and uh, make sure, if possible, uh, take someone along with you to a new place uh, if you're traveling. So they will be of some assistance to you. So take time out. Have a good checklist. Cross-check with your friends uh, because uh, NB might be asking some... Uh, so I don't know, I'm not sure, but the, the regulations, whatever it is, um, have them fulfilled and uh, reach the exam center early. If possible, have a cab wala, a taxi wala, a auto wala. Uh, pre-book pre -book them one day before the exam itself and make sure that he or she arrives 
to your place uh, to pick you up early. So this is the last slide. Um, on the day of the exam, yeah, what to do? As I said, small breakfast. And everyone is uh, having the same tension. Everyone will be exposed to the same question paper, 150 MCQs, and the same duration of time. So don't worry much. Be bold when you are answering because you have put a lot of efforts in the last 9 to 12 months and everything is here. When you are bold enough, you can succeed well. Same like a, a surgeon's mentality. If you are bold enough, you can perform a more safe surgery. Uh, but yeah, you should be bold but not overconfident. So whenever you are in doubt, especially in some topics where you are having a... Uh, judgment between two options, take a chance because uh, you are having 50% chance of getting it right. So 50% chance of getting it right, you are going to score four positive marks and you are going to lose only one negative mark. So take that chance because the more number of MCQs you answer only, the uh, higher, higher the score you can get. So if you are not attempting itself, there is no chance of getting high score. So better is to attempt as many MCQs as you can. And be bold. All the very best. Me and Dr. Kaushik are there to guide you in the coming 10 days. Anything, any queries, any stress management, any, any shit you want to talk to us, you can um, give a call, you can reach out to us. Our numbers are available with you. So don't worry. Just focus on the present. Don't think about the future and don't think about your past. I, I should have done this. I should have done this. I should have done that. So what you can do now is only focusing on the present. As Lord Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, you are only entitled to do the action, never to its fruit. So don't think what you are going to achieve or what is going to happen after the exam. So work on the present and obviously, you will have an excellent result. Work without any doubt. Work with confidence and answer with full confidence. You have given, you have worked hard, you have given many mock exams, you have performed well, and obviously the, your work will translate in the final exam also. So don't worry, don't think much, stay cool, stay calm, and uh, have, a, go, have good food, good sleep, and have focus at revision. That is the key to success. So any doubts, feel free to contact me or Dr. Kaushik. All the very best from Vice Academy. Take care and see you soon.